Hello, Michael here for the Center for Digital Archaeology with a handy holiday tip. Um, it's that time of year where people might be thinking about putting together photo books. It's actually a little bit, it's getting a little on the edge of late side, but just still time. Uh, today is technically Cyber Monday, and there will be plenty of deals out there to be had. But these things, phones, camera phones, make doing photo books challenging. My wife likes to put together a photo book every year. And what she really cares about are the photos of us and principally, of course, of our kid. And so I have pictures on my phone. She's got them on hers. You know, I'm using Google Photos and Dropbox and and she's doing whatever she does. You know, it's, it's a big challenge. And so to do this exercise, I sat down and went, okay, I have photos in all of these different locations and on different devices, um, in different folders, in Dropbox, um, etc. How can I get all of these things together? And then from that, how am I gonna find just the photos from 2015? And from there, how am I gonna find the photos of 2015 that are about us? So there are plenty of tools that can do this um, out there. You have Picasa, you have photos if you're a Mac person, but I'm gonna go across the board and say Lightroom is amazing. Um, we love it for all sorts of different reasons, but I'm gonna give you a little uh, Adobe Lightroom challenge here. So I time box this. I wanted all my photos in one place. I wanted them to, uh, to be able to find the 2015 photos of my family. I also wanted to deduplicate all the millions of copies we had. And so I'm gonna show you what I came up with here. So this is Adobe Lightroom after what I've done is I simply imported all of the photos from all of the different possible places that they, they were. I just pointed all of the different photo um, locations that I'd had um, poorly managed over years. And you can see here on the left hand side that we're dealing with images that go back to 1995 and that really kind of gets bulked up in 2012, 13, 14, 15 because guess why? We had a kid. So. Um, this isn't all of our photos, but this was all the photos that were running around on the different drives and for sure were all the photos of 2015. So when you import images into Lightroom, it if you set it to do so, it will automatically put those photos based on their dates into different folders. And beyond that, it will organize them by month. And this is fantastic. So I'm going to just show you how this works. I'm going to go ahead and hit the import button here in Lightroom, and we're doing all sorts of little tutorials um, about all the various steps here. And basically, on the left-hand side, I found a source. I just found the photo folder um, that had all my stuff. Here's one that's camera uploads folder. And you can see that it's not allowing me to select any of these because these are all these have all been at this don't import suspected duplicates here. And all these images have already been brought in. In fact, I'm going to click here on the camera uploads personal where I put all of the photos into a single directory and also put them into Dropbox and note that it's not allowing me to add any of these all because they've all been out already added. But had they been able to be added, I simply just selected into subfolder, which in this case was this folder by date, and then it's going to magically put them into that folder and organize them all by date, um, all the way down to the single day. Okay, so that was the first step. Give me everything for 2015. Excellent. And in the new version of Lightroom, known as um, CC 2015 or Lightroom 6, we have a new power, which is people. So we've seen this done before, um, but I got to say they've done a pretty great job. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit the O button here to bring up people. And here we have all the named people that we're seeing in um, that are here in 2015. So if I want to see all the pictures of Ignacio, here they are. I can just double click on them. Um, <laughs> this is the day he was um, getting his first haircut in 2015. He was really excited about that. Um, let's find a better, cuter f shot of him. It's one down here I love. And boom. Um, so all the photos that are otherwise happening in this, in this directory are here, but this is a really easy way for me to get directly to the photos of him, of, of my wife, of us together. Um, and I simply went through and selected them all um, and made a collection and um, saved them out, just basically saved them out onto a drive, handed them to her, and she was good to go. So I brought over, what, 7,900, almost 8,000 photos um, without duplicates into a single directory 
then from there um, organize them by by us by names which it did, did automatically you should check that out and it worked great so that is my handy tip to kind of keep the peace in your family and uh, I hope this helped